So this is mean uh, I will have a presentation on assessing stroke rehabilitation exercise, which is jointly done by Dan, Asim, Alex, and Sergi. And in this presentation, I will briefly describe how computer system can support assessing rehabilitations. And I will describe the design of the stroke rehabilitation exercise, rehabilitation study, and our proposed method of, uh, about assessing, automatically assessing the stroke rehabilitation exercise and our validation research, conclusion, and future work. So post-stroke survivor require repetitive physical therapeutic session. However, this is uh, expensive and time consuming because it requires presence of the therapist for assessment and generating useful feedback. And as the therapy has a limited availability, they often prescribe uh, in-home rehabilitation where a patient has to perform particular prescribed exercise themselves. And during in-home rehabilitation, patients often become unmotivated or confused whether they correctly following the prescribed uh, exercise. And also therapists have a problem with uh, tracking the patient's progress over the time. So researchers uh, attempt to improve the rehabilitation practices uh, with the computer technology. So first they try to log and analyze sensor data uh, to track the exercise metrics such as joint angle and number of repetition. However, the, according to the user study, the therapists consider that uh, analyzing sensor data is still not intuitive to understand individuals' patients' uh, performance. And another approach is to classify the occurrence of the incorrect motion with the sensor data and machine learning. However, the, the problem, is, this one provides uh, intuitive the detection. The problem is that uh, this simple binary detection cannot provide uh, the diverse level of the patient's uh, performance. So there is a need of uh, quantifying exercise performance and uh, researchers start exploring the usefulness of kinematic variable for quantitative assessment. And for example, like they correlate the kinematic variable with the clinical score, but uh, still the limited work has explored how we could actually quantify and uh, it works uh, compared to the human. So uh, this research uh, proposed a development of the intelligent therapist, which can describe the exercise and uh, observe the patient's exercise performance with the Kinect sensor and summarize uh, exercise performance with the machine learning and deliver some suggestion for Im improvement. So this is uh, some running example and I have demo, but I will skip uh, for the sake of the time. And uh, in this paper, I'll mainly address following three questions. The first one will be how we could actually automatically assess the exercise performance. And second one is like how well it could align compared to the therapist evaluation and whether such computed score has any clinical relevance. Now I will describe about uh, our design of stroke rehab study. So we mainly utilize a uh, three task-oriented upbuilding exercise. Uh, bring a cup to the mouth where the patient has to grab a cup and reaching to the mouth area as, as if they're drinking water. And exercise two is uh, the patient has to reach forward to switch a light on. As exercise three, they need to extend the elbow to move the cane forward. And for the evaluation of the stroke rehabilitation, rehabilitation exercise, we utilize three performance components, range of motion, smoothness, and compensations. And range of motion indicates how well individual achieve the task, and smoothness describes the degree of the trembling motions. And compensation is to, to detect uh, whether there is unnecessary joint motion to compensate the uh, patient's uh, limited functional ability. For example, when patient here is doing a uh, bring a cup to the mouth, like compared to the unaffected side, uh, affected side, the uh, patient start uh, raising the shoulder instead of uh, due to his like limited uh, ability on his uh, wrist position. And given these performance components, uh, we have also the therapist uh, scoring guideline on a, a three-point ordinal scale, which can be also mapped into binary label, the correct or incorrect. And those are the basically uh, based, based on the clinically validated uh, uh, stroke rehab uh, assessment tool of motor function tests and fugal mayor assessment. And now I will describe about our proposed automated assessment method 
So to summarize the, our overall flow, so given an exercise trial, we will check the join position and extract feature, and we'll train a binary classifier to detect the occurrence of the incorrect motion. And then uh, leveraging the binary classifier, we will implement the threshold model to quantify the performance score. And now I'll first describe about the feature extraction parts. So we uh, track like 16 joints, and uh, we track uh, multiple, uh, we compute like multiple kinematic feature, like joint angle indicates the angle between th uh, three selected joints, and relative trajectory indicates the uh, the Euclidean distance and projected trajectory indicates uh, absolute distance in particular axis. And we also have some speed related measurement and some normalization to compensate the individual difference. And given this feature, uh, we also have like these three performance components. So we ended up like the extract like the number of feature for each of them. The ratio of motion is composed of some like joint angle and distant measurements and smoothness is mainly composed of the speed related one and uh, uh, on, on the elbow and wrist joints. And the compensation is also composed of the joint angle and distance to uh, represent the occurrence of the compensate uh, motions. And then uh, basically uh, we also, given this uh, feature set, uh, we compute the statistics uh, over the frames to summarize the exercise the motion, the rationale is that uh, here, for example, given the unaffected and affected side, we can see obviously the distinguished two sides based on uh, checking the maximum points. So we compute maximum, minimum, and standard deviation, average, and range, given the, the feature that I described earlier. And now I'll describe about uh, the classifier and the uh, implementation of uh, the threshold model. So for binary classification, we implement a traditional linear regression, decision tree, SCVM, neural network, and LSTM on uh, multiple limited uh, parameter, and we did uh, just a uh, grid search to pick like the best performing one. And uh, given the, the binary uh, classifier here, I describe about quantification. So basically quantification is a uh, our intuition is an like intermediate problem between classification and regression, we, where we need to predict the categorical performance score, like zero, no motion, like one limited, uh, two, full, normal motion. So this uh, is like the original regression problem, and uh, one popular approach is a threshold model with the binary classification, where the well-tuned the binary classification can provide the ranking score, uh, which can be uh, leverage with the sets of threshold value to estimate the categorical response. So we implement uh, this threshold model with the binary classification for quantification. Now I will describe about our validation study. So we recruited uh, 15 post-stroke survivor and 11 healthy subjects. And totally uh, we collected the 485 trial of the exercise for each one. And then uh, for generation of the ground truth, we recruited the two therapies, primary and secondary. And uh, the primary is referring to the one who supported the recruitment of the patients and then evaluate their functional ability. And secondary therapists are, has like no prior interaction with the patients. And then uh, they ended up performing like two evaluation. Uh, one individually watched their recorded video and assigned score based on the, the, the scoring guideline. And then they had like one hour discussion to share their knowledge about the assessment to reduce some of the disagreement and did uh, another evaluation phase. And basically the, the rehabilitation process mainly uh, managed by the single the therapist from beginning to the end. So we decided to pick like the primary therapy as like the our ground truth score. And this table uh, summarizes our results about uh, binary classification. So we just used the leave one subject out cross validation where we trained uh, the model without uh, leaving the testing subjects and uh, applied the testing on this uh, left held out the subjects. And here we compared the F1 score on multiple models and overall we found that the neural network and decision tree works well and for we expect the LSTM might work well but uh, we found it is a bit difficult to derive the uh, well-tuned uh, model. And given this uh, 
outperforming the neural and decision model, we implement the threshold model and compare with the traditional multi-class and regression one. Uh, and o overall, the threshold model uh, seems to be works of, uh, outperformed than the multi-class and regression. And sometimes uh, multi-class regression works slightly better. But uh, overall, we could observe that the threshold model is like uh, at least like the intermediate uh, solution of multi-class and regression. And compared to the, uh, when we apply the statistical significance testing with the paired t-test, uh, we found that threshold model can generate equally good solution with the multi-class regression. And the same trends can be observed on the MSA value. And uh, for answering the how closely